and I am getting the f out of here. But now I gotta take all this stuff home and be sad because I'm leaving college. Hi, mother. What's good? Welcome to the video. Um, yeah, it's not a good day. I'm moving out <laughs> way sooner than I thought I was gonna move out. It is Monday the 16th, and I am getting the f out of here. The reasoning is everyone has corona. I'm not exaggerating. There's been about a hundred cases this week, and it's only been going up. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm not laughing at any of this. I may be smiling, but that's because I don't want to look very sad. My roommate Jack hasn't been here in a few days because I was actually a close contact of someone who had corona. So I have actually been in this dorm for about three days now. I don't want to say I'm going crazy or anything, but the walls are starting to talk to me. I just handed in a test. This sucks. Corona. Here we go. Pray for a negative, baby. I'll know later today if I have corona or not. It doesn't matter, I'm quarantining anyways when I go home because that's what responsible adults should do. Not saying I'm responsible or an adult, but I'm acting as one right now. Literally all my friends have left. But yeah, move out vlog. I'm also gonna do a first semester advice video later this week, but definitely to start off that video, I'm just gonna give you the advice that you shouldn't get Rona. That will kinda kill your first semester vibe. Bringing this all home to my mom for her to clean for me cause I'm lazy. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun just being locked up in this room. Can't wait to get out of here. Now I understand what some of you are gonna say. Cole, you're never gonna fit that comforter in that trash bag. We're gonna give it a go anyways. But actually what you're gonna say is, why are you going home to your family? Well, I'm not, actually. I promise you I'll not leave my room. It will all be on my Snapchat, so my Snapchat's gonna be right there. i just much rather go home and quarantine there and be responsible than have to quarantine here in the quarantine dorms. But yeah, if you thought it wasn't gonna fit, you were wrong. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, so the bed has been stripped and should definitely be sanitized, but that sounds like a second semester problem. Bedding is done. Collegiate, the packing is done. I know I have so much stuff. Don't even, I just, it's all clothes. I'm bringing home to wash. I took down my Collegiate sign, hanging that in my room. I have a 14 day quarantine in my room, so I'm gonna need stuff to do. I got all my clothes, all my shoes, clean off most of my desk, and just, yeah, I mean. This room has seen a lot. This room has definitely seen a lot on and off camera. Off camera especially and yeah i mean that's the end of first semester i'm going home still waiting on my covid results my mom and i are gonna wear masks in the car as you'll see but yeah i mean that's really it i'm just like a bum right now just give me i i, I don't know i'm this is bad this is sad i don't we weren't supposed to leave for another week but now i gotta take all this stuff home and be sad for two and a half months because i'm leaving college don't want to go home. I love this place. College is amazing. Don't ever be like worried about coming to college because it's just amazing. Buy room. Should definitely still sanitize, but I'll deal with that later. My dorm looks so empty and sad. We'll hopefully be back depending on what happens. It's great. It's just a great time of... Alright, bye. Hi, okay, so I have great news and uh, bad news. The bad news is my room looks empty. This is so sad and this is depressing. The great news is I tested negative this morning. <laughs> I just got my results back from this morning and I'm negative, so I'm going home. I have a test later today and then one tomorrow, so obviously I could still test positive, but as of currently, I'm negative. I'm going home, getting the f out of here. This little cesspool of COVID. Peace out. I almost just said my room number and then everyone would know and it would be awkward, but just peace out. Officially, the end to my living here first semester. At least I'm negative. I mean, I'm happy about that. Sad I'm going home, but at least I'm negative. Hi, mother. Hi. Didn't think this would be happening, but. Are you ready? I guess so. Later. My home for the next 14 days. This is gonna be so much fun. All right. Oh, you don't even understand how much credit I give to first responders and hospitals and stuff. I don't know how they deal with this every day, just putting on all those masks and stuff. If your parents or someone you know is a first responder or works in a hospital or anything like that, please thank them for me. It's insane what these people do. So I am going to get a third test and we'll see what happens with that. But as of right now, I'm gonna shower and relax. A few inches later. We outie. On the way to the third test. I guess we're pretty thorough here in the Janeska household. Also my baby, I missed her. Hi baby. I am. I'm calling the urgent care place right now. I'm out front. Hey! Just need you to confirm name and date of birth. Cole Janeska, July 2nd, 2002. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get some vitals. You can put your finger right in here and just rest it down. Alrighty, this is gonna go on both sides of your nostrils. It's not gonna go up and back, it'll just rub on the walls. You can pull your mask all the way down. Yeah! Perfect. 
So as far as results go, within the next two to four hours, we'll call if you're positive and we'll email if you're negative. Two to four hours, we'll know. Hi, so quarantine update. As of 3.57 yesterday, I'm negative for coronavirus. This is the start of the second day in quarantine. I'm just absolutely so bored out of my mind. I don't know what to do. I actually started doing my final paper, which isn't due for a month. So that kind of explains how bored I am. 8.01 p.m. I hung this sign. That has been the extent of my day. I wish that I could tell you I was kidding, but I'm not. I've literally laid in bed and hung this sign and ate food. So yeah, this is, um, this is pretty miserable. I won't lie. 2,000 years later. I'm going up to UNH now to go get a rapid test. I should know by the end of the day, and then I'll kind of assess from there. Here we go. I'm back in my car. I'm going back to my school. It's a great day. It's nothing to joke about at all, but I just find comedy and sadness sometimes. I miss school so much. I miss, I just, oh my God. It's so hard going from like hanging out with people 24 seven to then going into isolation. I just am like, ah. let's go. It's so cold in my car. We're almost there. We're on our way. We're about uh, 20. Oh, police. Okay, well, thanks. I'm busy vlogging. I think this is my round. It's like out there. A few moments later. Go straight back, okay? I'm so sad. No, it's fine. None of them have ever hurt. No one hurt. <laughs> Bro, that dude like touched my brain. Holy sh! All right, if that one comes back negative, I'm definitely negative. Cause wow, did that one? He touched a part of my body. I don't think it's ever been touched. Boys back. <laughs> I made it. Hopefully without Rona. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit. So it is now Thursday, which means it is my fourth day in full isolation. Saturday and Sunday I was in my dorm for most of the day. Monday I was in my dorm until my mom came and picked me up and brought me here. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and today I've been in quarantine completely. To clarify, I currently do not have coronavirus. I was in close contact with three people who tested positive. All of my friends are testing positive and I'm somehow thankfully testing negative still. I tested negative on Saturday, I tested negative on Sunday, I tested negative on Monday, and then I tested negative on Wednesday. This upcoming Friday and this upcoming Sunday, I have another test. If the test on Friday comes back negative, then multiple doctors have told me that I can go out. This is because according to them, the time that I could get infected and infect other people ends on Friday. Just take extra precaution, I'm not leaving until Sunday. I'm getting another test done on Sunday. If the Sunday one is negative, then I'm gonna come out of quarantine and see my family and such. So I'm home first semester, it sucks. I mean, it doesn't all suck. Like, it's nice to see my family and stuff. I mean, they're kind of important in my life. But I miss my friends, and I miss school, and I miss the dorms, and I miss the the dorms and the water that is there. And, but now I'm home until the beginning of February, and that just hurts to say, but we're gonna make it work. I'm hopefully gonna start seeing my friends pretty soon because they're all getting tested as well. We're gonna keep it safe like we were before, and we're gonna be responsible. I'm gonna show you a day in my life in quarantine. So it's currently 2.30. I have class at 5. Here's how my day went. I got up at 8. I got an email that I was negative for my test yesterday. Then I sat in bed. I got up, okay? Uh, let me demonstrate what I did. I got up. I put a mask on, just like this. Opened my door. I walked this distance with the mask on, went into the bathroom, took my mask off, I showered, and then I sat in bed on TikTok. Hold on, I have to make a four foot walk, so I'm gonna put my mask back on, and there we go, back to my room. Okay, cool, and now I can take the mask off. But seriously, I've literally just been laying in bed. Like, I don't wanna give you guys content, so I don't really know what to show you guys. That's quarantine, it's so much fun. I brought these weights up, I haven't really used them yet. Not that I ever will use them ever, but I brought them up to just sit there, I guess, and make indents in the carpet, because that's what they always do. You made me cookies? Yes. What a nice sister. <laughs> you know, I hate to be that guy because like I'm in quarantine, but where this is the milk. I don't see any milk. I think we ran out. No, there's no milk. Where's no, the- No, I think we ran out. Do I need to go downstairs and look? No, you can't go downstairs. No, no, I'll get the milk. Cool, thanks. The next day. Hi, um, these are my pajamas. So it's officially day five in quarantine. This is gonna be the last day of this vlog. I know it's been boring these last few minutes and I apologize. I literally do nothing all day. Like, I really don't. I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, we can want a paintball? We can paintball. Yeah, let's paintball. Come on, we're gonna paintball. Honestly, I have no idea if this is even gonna work. This is a good way to find out. Oh, that was anticlimactic. I thought it was gonna break. What a 
weird end to a weird video. Okay, so that's gonna be all for your video. I wanna remind you if you're new here, please make sure you join the 139K Strong Collegiate by liking the video, subscribing, turning your post notifications. That's really it. I'm gonna be making a few videos based on college this week, and then after that, when I'm out of quarantine, it's back to the Walmart vlog squad. One more time, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time in front of a camera. Bye bye. To give you a little backstory, my good friends over at Scope UNH hooked it up with a Zoom call with David Dobrik, so we're gonna be joining that. A bunch of kids are gonna be on there. It's gonna be like a little interview. That's gonna be a cool highlight of my quarantine, I guess. And now for the person that everyone is here for, please join us in welcoming the man with more views on YouTube than the amount of people on Earth, over the massive channel of over 18 million subscribers. And on top of that, he's also a successful podcast host, a Kids' Choice Award winner, a Hot One survivor, and most importantly, the 2019 People's Magazine Sexiest Heartthrob, David Dobrik. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, I told Natalie to say that I had lots of really good food, but she was too nervous. So uh, our prank got foiled here, but we were about to get everybody. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and his computer's on fire. That was awesome. Thank oh, you so much. Okay. <laughs>